we have always seen that communication becomes effective if the receiver gives some feedback to the sender. See this picture. Once you receive some gift, if you smile and say thank you, then the person who gives you gift is very happy, pleased and satisfied. If you say, oh wow, I like this gift, I never had this kind of gift with me, then the sender will be happier. If you don't understand anything, what your teacher is talking to you, and if you keep quiet, teacher will never come to know that you are not understanding anything. So, if we are teachers, it's our responsibility to create some environment, to create such a situation that the learner also gives feedback of communication. This feedback, gestures, smiles become our motivators in communication. Let us see the classroom situation. Whenever learners give some feedback to teachers, then the process can be more effective. Even teachers can improve their process according to feedback received from the learners. Small gestures on their faces or commenting, asking or just saying, oh, understood, help teachers or senders to improve the communication. Even if there is constructive feedback, corrective feedback, the communication process can be corrected. While giving feedback, receiver is always in the role of a sender. Whenever sender sends any message to receiver, receiver's reaction to it, receiver's response to it is a feedback. Now while giving this feedback, the receiver selects message. So feedback itself becomes a message and receiver imparts that. Receiver chooses some channel, receiver chooses some mode and receiver passes on this feedback to the sender. As I mentioned earlier, this feedback becomes a new message. So this message can be either verbal or non-verbal. Either you just smile, give some gestures, show some anger or you verbally say that. Or sometimes you can also show some tags. For example, in some competitions you might have seen that the examiner only shows a tag with some scores on it and that becomes feedback of that particular examiner. So message as a feedback can be in any form. As we saw that feedback can be in the form of any message, even the channel can differ. You may not immediately give feedback by the same channel which sender has used, but you may choose a different channel for it. For example, you may leave the sender and then while traveling, you may just send thank you message. So this channel becomes a different channel and not as the same of the sender. Sometimes we send some note, sometimes we write letters, sometimes we make phone calls or sometimes we receive something via distance through some distance mode but the feedback is given when we actually meet. So these are different messages, different channels in the form of feedback.